All right, going over testing the amperage on a circuit. So you must have a circuit that is energized and running. First thing we're going to do is change our meter to our amperage, two to 20 amps for the range that we're going to be testing today. Um, we do not need the prongs of this voltmeter. I like to remove them. If you try to test amperage with your prongs, you will blow something up. Hopefully not yourself. Okay, so we're going to use the hook to test each of the hot wires when the circuit is energized. So if I turn the pool pump on, I've got the pool pump running. I'm gonna take my hook and I'm gonna hook it around either one of the hot wires. Okay, so now it's running through my hot, through my hook. So on this one hot wire, I have 5.95 amps. So that's one, you can hook it around the other. Make sure you don't hook them together or any other wires. Okay, now I've got the other one. The other line is pulling 5.77, okay? So they are both pulling within point one or so amps of each other and that's how it should be if you have one line pulling more than the other uh, you have an issue um, the reason that this information is important is because on the motor itself there is an amperage rating let's see amps 7.7 to 15.4 the 7.7 is in reference to a 240 volt circuit if this pump is wired for 115 volts, as you can see, it will operate on 15.4 uh, amps. So our amperage is right in the range of what the motor is rated for, and it should be. This is a virtually brand new motor. If your motor is aging, you might see that amperage rating uh, exceeded by the voltmeter test. If your voltmeter is giving you a you know an 8.0, a 9, or 10 amperage reading on each line, that means that your motor is drawing more amps as it is wearing out, and that is an indicator that it is going to fail. So, the closer to your uh, amperage rating, or even below the amperage rating, the better. All right, that's it for this one.